Hey, what's going on? It's Jason Lucchese and Mr. Michael Bredhauer is over at the office right now. We're just kind of hanging out, getting some work done. We've actually had a team call and we uh, have been planning out some other things that we've got going on that we're going to be uh, surprising you guys with here in the next couple of weeks. It's going to be really mind-blowing. Hey, what's going on, Philip? Let me wave back to you. There you go. Um, so what I wanted to kind of go over, uh, hey, I believe it's Vadim, <laughs> Vadim, uh, kind of go over what's going on right now with the, the state of the real estate market, right? Uh, we you got a lot of individuals on some of these other groups talking about the, the differences of, you know, the, the market shifting, it's dropping. And I, I wanted to, to kind of talk to you today and we've got Obviously, Mike's here as well, so he could chime in whenever he wants. But one of the things that really I wanted to to address on this particular live call is: is there a recession uh, coming up? Is there, you know, a potential market uh, shift happening? And one of the things that I will tell you, in my opinion, is I do believe the market has already begin uh, began uh, shifting. And what do I mean by that? Uh, the, the market's starting to take somewhat of a, of a turn down. We haven't seen it go drastic. Uh, hey, what's going on, Scott? Uh, we haven't seen it go like drastically down. It's it's retail like retail is still at, at an all time high. Uh, it's actually from quarterly earnings. We've seen uh, retail uh, shops out there that are still doing well. Yeah, we're seeing the stock market take uh, a little bit of some dips and hits, uh, but it rebounds uh, pretty quickly. You know, like when we see a, an 800 point loss, it comes back the next day, uh, not with 800 points, but it, it's pretty much back. We've seen, we're at, what uh, what Mike is it? We're at 25,000 uh, plus in, as the Dow. Uh, it, it's really, it's still high. Uh, from when uh, the last uh, presidency took place. It was like 18, 19,000 points, but now we're at 20,000, uh, 25,000 plus points. So we're, we're still in a very good economy, in my opinion. I think where we're gonna see like shifts starting to happen where people are starting to uh, potentially lose uh, jobs or get uh, job uh, replacements is um, people that that can't afford their student loan debt anymore uh, people that can't afford their credit cards their cars their mortgages anymore because they have so much debt we have never been in so much debt as an economy before I haven't seen this much you know since I've been alive and some of you have been alive on this planet much longer than I have but the market is very cyclical. It happens. Uh, we, we saw something uh, in the late 60s, the late 70s, late 80s, and so on and so forth. It's, it's a pattern. Uh, so we are due uh, for a market correction. What does that mean? If anybody is giving you a, like a, a for sure sign answer, then you know to me, they don't have a crystal ball. Nobody has a crystal ball. Even with statistical data, uh, it, it can only give you so much information. And uh, the individual that came out with the, you know, the original recession, uh, who wrote uh, the, the book, The Big Short, I believe it was who wrote it. Uh, well, that, that's a great book uh, that I would recommend uh, that, that you read. It talks about what happened then. I, that's obviously not gonna happen this time around because we don't have a, we don't have a mortgage uh, problem like we did bef before and I was in the mortgage business at the time and we were selling subprime loans and it was awful they were you were taking a subprime loan with borrowers on there that had subpar 600 uh, middle FICO scores and they were being packaged up as triple A rated packages so that nowadays is, is not happening Main reason why it's not happening is because subprime is virtually not even available anymore uh, from a, patch, a packaging standpoint for loan originators to offer. 
So that, that was one of the things that I wanted to bring up. It's not going to be something like that, that we're going to see. Uh, rates right now are, are at all time lows. So the market, in my opinion, overall, as of right now, today is strong. It's a very strong market economy. I personally think where the problem is going to come into play here is with student loan debt, uh, consumer credit card debt, uh, that's going to lead to people not being able to afford uh, their credit cards, their student loans, and then they're going to go default uh, because what's going to happen is wage garnishing is going to happen on the credit cards and the student loans, and then they're not going to have enough money to pay their mortgage. So that's going to be a, a, a potential problem. Mike, what do you, what do you think uh, from... You know, we've had almost a hundred plus guests on our No Flipping Excuses show. But, and we've asked this question a lot. What are you thinking? You know, it's, it's one of those things that, that that's, it's written in history. I mean, we've not only had our guests talk about it, but it's written it in the history of the market. You know, just take a look at how it's been in the past, you know, 10, 20 years and look how it's gone up and down. And, look at the space in between the cycles and look how much it's gone up and down. So, you know, the proof is in the pudding if you ask me. I mean, you know, you're not even asking for my opinion at this point. You're just saying, yeah, it's, it's, it cycles up and down and we're, we're heading for another one of those corrections, but you know, it's not, it's not anything that's unexpected. You know, you should see it coming. Yeah. And you know, the other thing that I wanted to, to talk about is we're not seeing home values go up as much as we used to, right? Like yeah, Mike was in the mortgage bis business with me for a short period and we would do some loans in like Arizona and those houses would literally go up 200% in a year. We're not really seeing that anymore. Now, there are some markets that have uh, some very drastic appreciation like San Francisco, San Diego. Uh, you have you still have some, some pocket markets like uh, Scottsdale, Phoenix, Las Vegas, uh, Seattle, uh, parts of Oregon, parts of Washington. Uh, New York's can always be up there as well. Uh, there are some parts in Florida as well, but those are all smaller markets compared to our, our 50 states, right? So we're not seeing rapid appreciation like we used to back in uh, from 04 until 06. That's not being part of the problem. But what could happen is, I know Trump just signed something yesterday giving uh, student loan forgiveness to uh, disabled veterans. I personally don't feel like he's gonna give it to uh, people that have student loans, like everybody. I don't think that's gonna be the case. I think if somebody does come into office and offers that, it's gonna be a very, very big problem for commercial real estate investors. It's going to cause people that don't have student loans anymore, they're gonna have money now uh, to afford a house. So what that's gonna to do to like apartments, self-storage facilities, um, that's gonna cause those uh, occupancy rates to go from 90, 95%, possibly 100%, probably below 60% because people now can afford housing. Um, so do I see that happening? Um, I don't know, Mike, what's your take on all of student loan debt being forgiven? I think that it's, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you've read the articles, it's, it's, it's not total forgiveness, it's bits of forgiveness, and I think at some point they're going to be working more and more towards that. My question to all that is, where does the debt go yeah. if it's being forgiven? So, I don't know, it's a double-edged sword. Yeah, that's that's the other point is if all of that student loan debt is being forgiven and it's like, I think it's over a trillion dollars, it's going to come back to the people that really don't have the student loans and we're going to get uh, taxed at a higher rate. Oh, yeah. And even some of the folks that do get that student loan debt uh, forgiven, I believe they're going to have to file a 1098 uh, and they're still going to have to pay taxes on that debt that's being forgiven just like individuals did with the, the Mortgage Debt Forgiveness Act, uh, which has expired. So that, that's still gonna be a potential uh, problem in the near future if that does happen. Do I personally see a trillion dollars of debt being forgiven without a complete uproar in 
the United States? No, I don't see that happening. I think what Trump did with helping disabled veterans was a very noble thing um, and something that, in my opinion, needed to be done, especially for people that serve our country and put their lives at risk. That, that's a huge thing. I love that. It, you know, even if it wasn't Trump, it, it's, a, it's a thing that needs to happen for our, our service men and women uh, that put their lives on the line. Uh, um, but other than that, I don't see like consumer loan debt being forgiven. Do, and here's the deal too. It's like $3 trillion with student loan debt and uh, consumer credit cards and installment debts. What's going to happen is some folks may file for a Chapter 7 or a 13 bankruptcy. They may not even qualify for it and they might get kicked out of bankruptcy because they might be making too much. They're just, um, they're not putting their money into the right places. So that, that could be a, a potential problem too. But I'm not, I'm not going to say, you know, we have a crystal ball here and we're, we're rubbing it and we're... We're telling you exactly what's going to happen with the market because that that's not the case here um we are going to see a market correction for sure either it be within this year or uh by you know be, by or before 2022 we sh we should and shall see a market correction because we've been going at a really good pace as a country now for a long period of time and it's just it's kind of overdue um, it, and I don't think it's it's going to be a, a small market correction. But with that being said, too, with foreclosures happening and people going into pre-foreclosure, now would be a really great time to get your, uh, you know, st start getting your foot in the door with folks at banks, credit unions, hedge funds, um, private equity firms, because they're going to be the ones that are going to be wanting to liquidate uh, a lot of those assets and, and it's going to become a really big big opportunity if you could get your foot in the door with those folks because the individuals that got their foot in the door back in like 05 06 that paid off and made them multi multi millionaires uh with the recession that happened back in late 07. a lot of people want to think it happened in early 08 but it, it happened right around August 07, uh, from what I remembered, especially being in the mortgage business. And it happened that November of 07 to where they, you know, they were gonna do the $787, $787 billion, uh, the, the, where they were basically bailing out the banks. But uh, before we wrap it up, if you guys have any questions whatsoever in reference to this, I'll be more than happy uh, to address them, but I wanted to, to talk to you about this. I'm going to make another live video uh, tomorrow talking about what Illinois just did with, uh, you now have to be a licensed real estate agent if you want to use an assignment contract. Um, we have a workaround around that, a legal workaround. Uh, it's where you don't have to have the license. Now, I'm not, a, I'm not an attorney, so what I'll say tomorrow, I'm going to have to keep repeating myself that I'm not an attorney. I didn't feel like doing the eight years of schooling, uh, but I, uh, that's going to be a good one that we're going to go over tomorrow. So if anybody has any questions, let's see, any great questions? Uh, Mike, anything for you, bud? No, you know, we, we love doing these. We love putting this stuff out there. I mean, when we're doing these videos, it's not for us. So, you know, I love when people ask questions and, and, and want to get involved because it just encourages us to do more and put more out there. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I don't see any questions coming in. So we will uh, cover the... Uh, the issues that are happening in Illinois right now, and Illinois is just a mess to begin with. Um, I, I do see states following suit to this, uh, so you definitely are gonna wanna stay tuned uh, for that video tomorrow. I'll probably do it around the same time uh, that I, I'm doing this one with you guys, and uh, we'll, we'll check it out from there. But other than that, you guys have a great day, and I will uh, see you tomorrow. Bye now.